Namaste Dolsto, I'm here with Govind and we're outside a scam call center here in Delhi right now and something has happened. This scam call center has a lot of security, not what we're used to seeing and Govind knows because he is a cyber security consultant, a cyber crime consultant. And so we were just parked up, just watching what's happening. First, when you get here, you've got to check out their security situation. And now these guys had people on the street, three kind of gangster looking dudes on the street, just, just patrolling, just looking around, investigating any cars or anyone who stopped nearby. And so we stopped about 20 meters up the road and they saw the lights on in our car because I was filming a little clip and they started walking towards us, these three kind of, kind of big dudes. And so we knew we had to get out of there. So once it got a bit closer, we left. Then we turned around and we came to the side street to watch them and they returned back. And then a big SUV pulls into the call center. Had to be the boss's SUV. Right. Absolutely. And these guys had to be related to security for the boss. Right. That, that's what I feel. Because they were, they were kind of, you know, just standing there and looking, looking around. Yeah, that's it. And, and just investigating things. Absolutely. This is not normal, right? Yeah, that's very rare because you know, uh, in all the call centers I have seen, such security was never, never seen like anywhere. Mm. Not even in Mumbai. It's a lot of security. Yeah. And we're gonna call them in a minute and we're gonna tell them that we're here. That's the point of this video. But on the security side, they must be making a ton of money to have all this type of security here and they must be doing such bad stuff inside there. And I, I know what they're doing. They're running a tech support scam and they have about 50 staff in this building here in Oakla. So bro, let's get a bit closer. Let, let's go outside and let's give them a call and let's see yeah. if they'll come outside and greet us. Right. Are we That's crazy? Yeah. <laughs> let's do it. They're just hanging on the street there, man. We just did another round around the call center and there's two new security guards outside. Big guys too. That's how you know they're kind of gangsters or security. And they just followed the car. They were very, very interested in who we were and why we were filming around the call center. So it tells us one thing. Whoever's running this call center, whoever's in there, it's a big guy, it's a rich guy. He may have some kind of, he's got some connections if he's got so much security with him. So yeah, this is not a normal call center. This is not a normal investigation. And you know, I am a little bit worried. So this place, something unique about it. If they come to our car, we know that they've called us. <laughs> Is it for their security? <laughs> Are they going slow? Are they looking for a car? No, it's patrolling. That's what I feel. Keep it in, keep it in. No, it's general patrolling. General patrolling. Keep it in. And the only risk right now is that these guys call their police contacts because we just saw a police car in that direction. We don't know if it went there or not because we're not going to go and find out. But yeah, that's the risk for us right now that because we've been hanging around there, we look really suspicious and they could call their friends in the police and the police can actually come down here and find out exactly who we are and yeah, kick us away. Tell us, what would the police do if it was a bad cop, let's say? They would start interrogating us if, if, if they're bad and if they're, they're the bad elements in the police. Mm. So, yeah, that, that, that is what, what, what would happen. Yeah, we just get, they try, and, they try and scare us basically and keep us, keep us away. So, yeah, not what we want to do tonight. But we're going to give them that call now and let, let's ask them why, why you got so much security? <laughs> What's going on in there? Just play off them a bit and we'll tell them we're going to report them to police. We will report these guys to the police. Not this local station though, we'll, we'll go higher. Ok, 
okay so they're not they're not answering their phones now i wanted to call them and confront them a bit but i think it's a good thing actually i think govind and i have stumbled upon a very big fish here and we should hand this one off to the police we've done enough of the investigation that we know exactly what scams they're running where they're located and we've confirmed that there's someone big inside there and we have a bunch of witnesses and you know google reviews saying this is a scam call center i even have their the script they're using and i know they're payment gateways we have all the information about this place so we can't call them but let's send this information directly to the police and pray that they do something and i will pin a comment telling you what the police have done so as always jay hind